All right, so here we are with my recording arts professor. Please introduce yourself and explain a little bit about what mixing engineers and mastering engineers do. Okay, my name is Steven Ressner. I am a professor at the University of Rochester in the audio and music engineering department. I am also a Grammy award winning engineer and I mix and master and record. I've been doing it for probably too long. Um, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I love it. Mixing and mastering uh, in particular. So we've already recorded the band, so that's recording is done. So mixing and mastering is kind of like I've got this whole board of individual tracks that I need to mix together. Uh, one of my favorite ways to explain it that I do in class is akin to baking. Okay, so recording is going out to the store and you buy a whole bunch of ingredients. You buy the flour, the sugar, and all that kind of stuff. Eggs, milk, whatever you need. You're going to bake a cake. And so mixing, you got all those ingredients in your kitchen and you literally put them in a mixing bowl. So you have all these instruments that you've recorded. So now we're gonna put them in a mix and what comes out is the batter, the stereo track or the 5.1 mix or 7.1 mix. So we need to make sure that all the proportions are right. If there's too much sugar, the cake is gonna be too much, too sweet. If there's too much flour, it's gonna be too dry and sit like a rock in your stomach when you eat it. So you have to balance everything and make sure it's right. Mastering on the, uh, on the end, after you bake the cake and you have that, mastering is the icing on the cake. It's making sure it's even on the top and it's making sure that all the songs and each slice has a, it's going to have the same amount of flavor and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so this is our girl group episode. I am showing you six different girl groups. Six? Right. Yes. So I chose these songs not based on the musical complexity, but rather these are some groups that we haven't touched much on on our main series on the Classical Musicians React. And on top of that, I think something unique happens in every single one that will allow you to comment on and not be too repetitive. Okay. But feel free to be repetitive because people usually only watch videos of their favorite group. <laughs> So many of the band people won't be watching this. Um, <laughs> this very first song is by a girl group called G Friends. They debuted in 2015 under Source Music Entertainment, and this group consists of six members, and you'll be reacting to their 2016 release called Neverella, which was composed by Lee Ji Iggy and Yongbei. It's basically a composition duo that like composes all their music. So. Okay. It's pretty interesting. This song I chose because it's a little bit more acoustical, there are more real instruments, but also I think they probably use some MIDI tracks, and it's just fun and like a throwback. Right. Go ahead. Let's go. Nice and wide. Sounds great. It's mostly electronic instruments. Um, samples and whatnot. That main synth is quite interesting. It's almost like a grating, like, grrr. I can hear everything clearly. Uh, even the little nuances and harmonies that came in the right speaker just there, there's a synth that came through. The vocals are very forward, but that's pretty standard for pop production. There's a lot going on. It's, it's, it's well mixed for what's going on. And in general, when you're working with electronic songs or electronic uh, samples, it's a little easier to mix because the sounds are already pretty much set for you and chosen with the, the samples on the kick and snare and the synth stuff. You're adding delays and you're adding reverbs to make it more interesting or different than the stock sample. guitar solo needs to be louder, only for the fact that it's a solo and I, I felt like the synths were overpowering it. It was very band limited too, it was also, it sounded very high mid-range, but it was just kind of buried for a solo. Yeah, overall it's a pretty good mix, like pretty standard pop production that's going on. Vocals are extremely forward, but I think that that's, that's a style thing, both American and Korean and probably Chinese and probably German and like, you know, any kind of electronic pop music like that is, is very vocal forward. But that's the point, like, most people are listening to songs to sing along and most people want to learn the lyrics to, you know, be at the club and dance and sing along and all that kind of stuff and that's great. Again, I think that guitar solo could have come up, but that's just preference for me. The only thing, and this is just my 
being a curmudgeon of modern pop music in general, is there's not a lot of dynamics. It's very, like, the loud and soft is made by the removal of instruments and then the adding of instruments. It's not necessarily a dynamic change. It's just kind of like, well, there's a lot going on, and then there isn't something going on, and then there's a lot going on again. And that's, that's what modern loud soft really is. <laughs> That's okay. It's just, we've been doing that for 20 years now in pop music, so it's like, okay, we need to do something new. Uh, but that's just uh, me being a, a curmudgeon and an old man. I'll put on my old man hat and complain for a while. How do you think the balance was? Because when my friends reacted to this song, they said, oh my god, way too much high end. Again, yeah, there is. There's a lot of high end that's attacking me. <laughs> it's the same kind of fatiguing problem that that we saw with the rock. Go go check out the rock band ones, and I, I talk more about that. But yes, your ears get fatigued when you're listening to a lot of high frequency content. This had more bass than the rock band ones because there was a more of a. a, a a synth bass type thing that was holding the ground and holding it down. But yeah, the, the vocals I thought were too out front in this. They were almost separated from the band, but that's, again, part of the style. Right. Well, the next one is Twice. They are a girl group that debuted in 2015 under JYP Entertainment. So this is the same as Day 6. This song is called TT, and it's arguably this group's biggest hit. It was released in 2016 and was composed by Black Eyed Pilsing. You probably haven't heard of it. Um, nope. Do you know what TT means? No. It's just like the emoji for crying. So it's okay. like, oh, I'm so sad. Yeah. I'm, I'm old. I don't get that. <laughs> but, okay. Well, now you know. Yeah. And um, I learned something new today. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. This song I chose because there's a lot of editing on the vocals, so it'd be nice to talk about autotune okay. and like those type of programs used to change the vocals and stuff. Yeah, great. Here we go. Oh, yeah, and then there's a little storyline. <laughs> a little sound design. Oh, that snare sound. <laughs> That's everywhere. That snare sound. Yep. This is a very playful mix. I'm getting lost in it, which is a good thing. There's a lot going on, a lot to take apart. It's kind of fun to listen to. Yeah, there's a lot of auto-tune on everything. You can hear the jumping from note to note uh, in the vocals. It's not like a glissando up to the next note or down to the next note. It's a definitive, all right, we're stepping up, we're stepping down. Right there in particular, that, that section. There's a nice doubling lower octave, which is, is actually kind of neat that they do. It's very auto-tune. This one, the vocals sit nicer. It's kind of being enveloped by everything else that's going on. This is a really nice mix. Almost every time I turn up the speakers again, I hear something new that's catching my ear. I'm like, how did they do that? So like, I'm kind of going in my brain, like, what was that sound and uh, how did they replicate that? Because there's like a synth that's almost being detuned at times, which is pretty cool. There's a sign sweep on this right side that's going It's a, kind of distracting. It's like constantly going. That's the one thing I'd probably be like, all right, no, that's, that's gotta go away. If I was the engineer, I'd be like, nah, we're not doing that. Ooh, to be continued. Not in this episode. No. That's actually the intro to their next song, which yeah. is a yeah, continuation of the story, kind of. Okay. Well, we won't get to finish the story in this one. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I just saw two kids dressed up, you know, in a house. That's about all I got from that. They knocked on a door. I enjoyed that song. That's a song I would listen to again. And the mix, I'd like to go back and, and really kind of pick it apart. There was a lot of creativity there, and it was it was well balanced. I could hear everything clearly, and there was a lot of delays and kind of weird things that were going on and percussive things. And it was very dense, but very well done. I like that mix a lot. Cool. Yeah. Well, the next group is called Pristin, and they are a 10-member group that debuted in 2017 under Pledis Entertainment. They won actually two Rookie of the Year awards 
for 2017. And this is the song Wee Woo. It is their debut song, so the very first song they put out. It was composed and written by the group's member Sung Young. So uh, Pristin is actually a girl group called like self-composed idols, meaning they do all the choreography, mm. they write their own music, they write their own lyrics, etc. etc. The song is supposed to represent the sound of a siren. It's a metaphor to how a girl feels when she's in love. So I chose this one because it's kind of similar to Twice's TT, but there's this cool thing about this song where it switches between a more cutesy style of singing to like a more badass when the rappers come in and they mm. add like a little bit more bass and change the instrumentation. Okay. So I thought that would be a cool thing to listen to. Okay. It's very similar to the last mix. There's a lot going on. It's very balanced. It's not it's not fatiguing. It's not a lot of high energy. I take that back. That note right there made me wince. Something I've noticed in all of these songs so far is that pretty much anything rhythmic is right in the center. Anything harmonic is way outside. Like guitars, even like the guitars are also providing rhythm here, but they're mainly a, a harmonic instrument, way outside, delays and Things going every which way, but like kick snare, everything's just always tight center. Well, there's a neat synth on the left side right there, that's kind of neat. It's like, woo, woo. I'd like to hear that more. I wish there was a little more bass, the bass guitar. It's a nice part, it's kind of buried. Yeah, it just seems really tight. It's not as much like, as I said, ear candy as in the last song. It's it's pretty standard. So yeah, uh, closing up on that one, it's a good balanced mix. I just think that there's certain parts that could be brought out a little bit more. It, it's again very very limited, but all of these are. I didn't really discuss that with mastering and limiting, where there's everything's kind of pushed up against the ceiling. So if it's over limited, the analogy I like to use is you take a piece of play-doh or something that's malleable and you form it into a ball and you got like some depth to it, right? Mm -hmm. But then if you smash it up against a wall, it flattens out and smears uh, and kind of just becomes like a, a thin piece and that's what happens to music when you put it up against a compressor that has a, uh, a top limit to it. It just kind of the music is dynamic and then whatever and then if you push it so it's so loud uh, everything smears and kind of gets blurry and there's no transients uh, there's no definition to the sound and so pretty much almost all of these kind of do that there is you know making you dance and whatever but it's it's eh, I don't know uh, there's no excitement dynamically right yeah yeah I have a feeling that's a thing with all k-pop music we'll see. yeah I mean that's a thing with all American music too okay. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> all it's, music it's, well I mean not not, not all music but okay. uh, just most, pop? most stuff that's on the radio okay. I'd say. Yeah. I see. baby that's to